Today we're chatting belly bugs and maybe a little poo. Every day our gut bacteria is compromised due to poor lifestyle habits and dietary factors such as pesticides, chlorine, fluoride, pollution, stress, vaccinations, and antibiotics. When digestion's not good, our ability to absorb and utilize nutrients and ward off infections, disease, and just feel good, it's compromised. So stay tuned, because in this video, I'm going to talk to you all about pre and probiotics. Let's start with prebiotics. So what are they? Well, prebiotics is the nourishment, the food component that the probiotics, the beneficial bacteria, grow and flourish in. Our prebiotic levels can be naturally boosted by eating fruits and vegetables. However, if our digestion and absorption levels are really compromised, well, in comes probiotics. Probiotics are the friendly bacteria that help to support our immune system and break down nutrients in order for us to be able to absorb them in the gut. We run into problems when over time the bacteria don't get replenished because of our diet. You see, most foods, the processed, packaged, and altered foods that we have today, they kill off all of this good friendly live bacteria. One of the easiest ways to know whether you need to start supplementing with a pre and probiotic is to check your digestion. Are you bloated all the time? Do you have a hard time breaking down foods? Do you constantly feel hungry yet no matter what you eat, nothing seems to satisfy you? Do you poop? That's the next question. Your bowel movements should look like your intestine. They should be oh, about that big around and they should be yay size. <laughs> Just think about it. How if food goes in and nothing's coming out, where is it going, right? So you've got to have this nice movement through your body. If you're only having little bits of, of, of poo coming out, well, you got to start checking on that and it's an okay subject to talk about. Let's say you have too much diarrhea, you're on the other side of the spectrum. Well, it's the same thing. Your body's not breaking anything down. It's clearly not absorbing because your colon's supposed to absorb that water before the poo comes out. So you've got digestive issues. Of course, this leads into whether you feel good on a regular basis, if you're, again, bloated, flatulence, you know, farting all the time, that sort of thing. These are easy, easy ways to tell if you need to start supplementing. And of course, your skin. Always, 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 your skin is the largest organ of the body and it's gonna tell you whether you're healthy or not. So if you've got a lot of acne around, especially around the mouth area, that's the colon area, right? So you really wanna pay attention to that stuff. Other symptoms that you'll notice besides your digestive issues and your poo and your skin are allergies. Allergies are a big part of a lowered immune function. If you're getting colds and flus all the time, and of course sugar cravings, that kind of goes into the fact of always being hungry. So you're not utilizing and getting the energy into your cells as well as you should. So your food's not breaking down properly. So immune function issues, sugar cravings, and of course lethargy. So with all the options out there, why belly bugs? These probiotics are their own food source, which means they lie dormant until you take them, and once you take them, they're activated, colonizing the gut all over. By feeding organic food to a mother culture, the good bacteria is broken down, leaving vitamins, minerals, and amino acids for easy absorption. Belly bugs' organic ingredients include spirulina, lentils, chickpeas, brown rice, mung beans, linseed, adzuku beans, amaranth, sweet potato, piptas, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, quinoa, alfalfa seed, ginger, beetroot, cabbage, molasses, and Dunalea salina. Because they're a whole food source, they can withstand heat up to 55 degrees Celsius. They can also survive freezing temperatures, which makes them perfect for travel. And because of the large amount of spirulina, they contain quite a bit of vitamin B12, making it a perfect food source and supplementation for vegetarians. Belly bugs is super easy to take. You can simply put it in a smoothie, sprinkle it on your food, in some porridge, um, or you can eat off a spoon, and kids love it too. It has a bit of a nutty sort of, yeah, just a nutty flavor. So if you're looking for a whole food, organic source of pre and probiotics, it's easy to take, easy to travel with, and great for the kids, look no further. Belly Bugs has you covered. Please like and share this video, and check the description below for more information and to see more on our blog. Till next time.